Have you ever wondered how water travels around our planet, changing from rivers to clouds and back again? This fascinating journey is called the water cycle, and it's essential for life on Earth. Let's explore how it works. The cycle begins with evaporation. When the sun heats up water from oceans, rivers, and lakes, it turns into water vapor and rises into the sky. Plants also release water into the air through a process called transpiration, adding more moisture to the atmosphere. As the water vapor rises, it cools down and condenses to form tiny droplets, creating clouds. This process is known as condensation. Clouds can travel great distances across the sky, carrying water with them. Eventually, the water droplets in the clouds combine and become heavy enough to fall back to the earth as precipitation, rain, snow, sleet, or hail. This replenishes rivers, lakes, and groundwater, ensuring that plants, animals, and humans have the water they need. After reaching the ground, some water infiltrates into the soil, becoming part of underground reservoirs called aquifers. The rest flows over the land as surface runoff, returning to rivers and oceans, ready to begin the cycle again. The water cycle is a continuous and vital process. Without it, life on Earth would struggle to survive. By understanding this natural cycle, we can better appreciate the importance of conserving water and protecting our environment. So next time you see a raindrop, remember, it's part of a journey that never ends, cycling endlessly between Earth and sky.